Hi everybody. I want to talk about a a song called the Snake Song, which Donald Trump has referenced now three times. This needs to be talked about. Okay, let's get right into it. The Snake Song off Wikipedia. This is very important. This video will go for a little while, but please stay tuned to what I have to share here because it's true and President Trump is deceiving people. President Trump has three times now in my mind declared that Obama is the snake. The snake, Satan, the devil, Lucifer, like the snake represented in the Garden of Eden. In your King James Bible, Genesis, the book of Genesis. Okay, there's a clip on my homepage. Trump declares Obama is the snake three times. Please watch all the videos associated in that clip, in that uh, profile, and piece all this information together. Okay, The Snake is a song and single released by American singer L. Wilson in 1968. Now, Trump references L. Wilson every, each time he's mentioned or read part of this song. They call it a poem. It's an actual song. Okay, was released by an American singer, Al Wilson, in 1968, and written by civil rights activist Ox Oscar Brown in 1963. The lyrics tell a story inspired by Aesop's fable of the farmer and the viper. You've got links here. I suggest you read the links. It's based on a story by Aesop, a fable. Although released in 1968 in both the United States and the UK, due to exposure of the song on the UK Northern Soul scene. So this, this song is written by an African American. Well, I think he's an African American. He's black anyway. It was released on the Soul scene, music scene, back in the late 60s, 70s, right? It entered the UK singles charts in August 1975, where it, when reissued, reaching number 41 in September. Okay, the success of the snake uh, soul nightclub circuit, blah blah blah. Right, it's a very popular song. The song was re-released in 1988, and you can read the information there. I'll save you from hearing that. Read it at Wikipedia. Okay, now the song says the lyrics say the song tells the story of a kind and tender woman who f finds a frozen snake on the ground on her way to work one morning. The snake begs the woman to take it home and take care of it. She obliges and takes the snake to her home and puts it in the fireplace puts it by the fireplace with a silk blanket, some honey and some milk. When she gets home from work later that evening, she finds that the snake is is now warm and revived, feeling happy for the snake's recovery. She picks it up and gives it a tight hug, kisses it on the head. However, the snake is actually vicious and gives the woman a bite, fatally poisoning her. She asked the snake why it bit her, even though she took it in and cared for it, which it responds, Shut up, silly woman. You d knew damn well that I was a snake before you took me in. The song gained renewed attention during the campaign of the 2016 United States presidential election. Republican candidate Donald Trump read, now he did this, and I'll get to that, three times he's read this, read this, uh, the lyrics to this song. Donald Trump read its lyrics at several campaign rallies to illustrate his position on the Syrian refugee crisis, claiming that this decision to allow people claiming refugee status to enter the United States would come back to bite us, as happened to the woman who took in the snake in the song. The daughters of the songwriter Brown, now the songwriter was the civil rights activist Oscar Brown, the singer was Al Wilson. The song was written in 1963. And the song was sung, the lyrics to the, uh, to the song was sung by Al Wilson in 1968. Okay, the daughters of the songwriter Brown, whose work has been characterized as a celebration of black culture and a repudiation of racism. Okay, black culture. This is why it's being brought up again, because Obama is the true uh, president, well, the sitting president of Trump is the acting president. He's just filling in. Have asked Trump to stop using their late father's song, saying he's perversely, he's, D Donald Trump is perversely using the snake to demonize 
immigrants and that Brown, Oscar Brown, the activist who wrote this song, never had anything against immigrants. Wow, that story needs to be told because unless you research it, I've never heard anyone yet, not to say that there isn't anybody on YouTube that has brought that up, but that is the true history of the song. Trump using it for a case against immigrants and a case against having people enter into the United States of America as refugees from Syria or wherever, whatever country they're coming from, is just evil. Okay, And what he's really doing here is highlighting that the snake that he works for is Obama, Satan, the devil, the Antichrist, son of perdition, the man of sin, Lucifer. Okay, Trump first said this at the Cedar Falls, Iowa, uh, Make America Great Again rally on January 12th, 2016. Okay, as presidential candidate. 21 days and 6 months later is Obama's birthday of that year. 4th of the 8th, 2016. 2 one 6, 2016, right? Very important year. Lots happened in 2016. Okay. Now, the second time Trump used it was at a... Uh, at a MAGA rally again. Make America Great Again rally. Saturday, April 29th, 2017. First year of his presidency. Now, I'll write all this in the blog underneath. On that day, it marked the 666th month plus 84 days of Obama's life from birth. Okay. At PA Farm Show Complex, uh, he spoke there at Harrisburg, uh, PA. PA, Pennsylvania, I guess. February 23rd, 2018, CPAC was the third time he spoke and used this song at the Conservative Political Conference, CPAC, February 23rd, 2018, which again from... Obama's birthday back in 2016 was 20 days, one year, six months. It all fits perfectly, right? For those with eyes to see, it needs to hear. And those who count, like Revelation 13, 18 says, you will see other links in the video uh, on my homepage. Trump declares Obama is that snake three times. Movies like Pie, uh, a little clip of story of Eve in the garden. And yeah, folks, it's all there. There is a reason why Donald Trump has sung, not sung, spoken the words from Al Wilson's song, The Snake, and it's not for the reasons that he's given. Obama is the snake. This is who they worship. Lucifer reborn in the flesh. Barack Hussein Obama. Thanks for listening.